Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A beam of light containing two different wavelengths is incident on a diffraction grading. The wavelengths are just resolved in the third order of the diffraction. What change increases the resolution of the image? So my dear students, this question belongs to the topic of diffraction grading and the formula is given in the data booklet. Um, I can show you that. Uh, yeah, here. Yes, this one. This one is the resolution. So R is equal to lambda average divided by delta lambda is equal to M into N. And that is given already given here. Okay. So what else now? So we want to increase the value of R. That is the resolution. And how can we do that? Obviously, either you increase M, the order of the diffraction, but it is given that it is a third order. So you can't increase or decrease that. So obviously the capital N. Capital N is... Uh, the total number of slits which are illuminated with the light. So let us see what is there in this um, in the options here. Increasing the width of the incident beam. My dear students, this question, this is absolutely correct, I believe. I will show you the answer also. We will go for the other options also. Increasing the width of the incident beam. Doesn't it mean that now more number of slits are illuminated? Doesn't it mean that capital N increases? And if capital N increases, doesn't it mean that R will definitely increase? So A is definitely correct. There is no doubt about that. I can show you the answer also. Oh my God, very good. And let us go for the other options. Why are other options not correct? Increasing the intensity of the light. So my dear students, although like intensity has nothing to do with the resolution here, because um, it's not about... Uh, the intensity, because we have seen in the Rayleigh criteria of resolution, that whatever be the intensity, the uh, diagram, the maximums should be different and all that. So it is actually independent of intensity. That is why uh, the option B is not correct. Option B is wrong. Decreasing the number of lines per unit length in the diffraction rating. Okay, so many students are confused with this option, like what is happening here? So there is no term which is talking about the small d, the d is the gap between the two slits as we were doing d in the interference, isn't it? It is the same d. Now they say that this d, decreasing the number of lines per unit length, it means the d is increased. So what is the effect of d on the resolution? So my dear students, try to understand this thing, if we are increasing, if we are decreasing the number of lines means we are increasing the gap it only means that there are lesser number of slits in the diffraction grating and thereby meaning that the maximum amount of light is stopped by the diffraction grating and very less amount of energy is able to pass through it which is able to create the pattern obviously the resolution is not that very good because not the light is not able to reach there that is why so C is also wrong. Decreasing the order of diffraction. So clearly, if you are decreasing M, the resolution is decreased. There is no doubt about it. So D is also wrong. So my dear students, this is the explanation for this very question. I believe uh, you will understand this. And if there is any other problem, please do ask in the comment section. All the best.